Imagine coming back from one of the toughest setbacks in your career and not just succeeding, but utterly dominating the competition. That's exactly what Simone Biles did, and it has turned the gymnastics world on its head. Her incredible comeback story is something you just have to hear about. Fred Richard, a name you might not be familiar with yet, is quickly becoming a rising star in men's gymnastics. At just 20 years old, he's already making waves and is likely headed to his first Olympics. But what's really interesting is his perspective on the differences between male and female gymnasts and how Simone Biles, the powerhouse of women's gymnastics, has influenced him and others in the sport. While Simone Biles became the most decorated gymnast of all time at the World Championships last week. You know, Richard talks a lot about the pressure that gymnasts face and he's noticed that it's way different for men and women. According to him, the women have way more eyes on them. Just think about it. Every time Simone Biles steps onto the mat, millions of people are watching, critiquing, and expecting nothing less than perfection. Richard says that's a kind of pressure that men in gymnastics just don't experience as intensely. He describes the men's side as more relaxed and laid back, almost like they're in it to have fun and enjoy the sport. But for the women, it's a different story. From a young age, it's drilled into them that gymnastics is their whole life, and if they don't win medals, they're seen as failures. That's a heavy burden to carry. Richard really admires Biles for how she handles all this. After the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, where she faced the twisties and had to pull out of several events, she was heavily criticized. Yet, she came back stronger than ever, winning four gold medals at the 2023 World Championships. Richard finds this incredibly motivating. He's seen a lot of comebacks in sports. But he says Biles' comeback isn't just good, it's dominant. She's not just participating, she's destroying the competition. For Richard, watching Biles dominate like this is both inspiring and a bit awe-inspiring. He mentioned that it's fun for him to look up to her. Even though he's now competing at the same level, he still sees her as a role model and finds motivation in her journey. After the competition, Richard, who helped the US men break their podium drought and made history by capturing bronze in the individual all around, posted a video to Instagram of himself playing copy with Simone Biles. The world of gymnastics is fascinating, not just because of the incredible athletic feats performed, but also because of the distinct cultural differences between men's and women's gymnastics. It's almost like they're two different worlds. When Fred Richard talks about it, you can really get a sense of how these differences shape the experiences and pressures faced by athletes. In women's gymnastics, the intensity and expectations are sky high. From a young age, female gymnasts are taught that this sport is everything. Their whole identity and success seem to hinge on winning medals. It's a kind of pressure that's relentless and unforgiving. When you watch someone like Simone Biles, you can see that pressure in every flip and twist. She's got the eyes of the world on her, expecting nothing less than perfection. The stakes are so high that it can be overwhelming, and that's a unique challenge that women in this sport have to navigate. My first time touring, so we'll be hitting over 30 different states, but I, you get this opportunity to give back to the younger kids who, like, they're your biggest fans, you know, growing up in yeah. gymnastics. And so I'm excited to, to go to these events, hopefully, like, somehow get some extra tickets to give to these little kids and just show off. You get to do more than just following the code book of gymnastics, but do those crazy things that everybody wants to see just for fun. Fred Richard gives us some real insight into this when he contrasts it with the men's side. According to him, men's gymnastics has a much more laid back and celebratory vibe. He describes the men's community as being more chill. It's not that they don't care about winning or performing well, but there's a greater sense of balance. They know how to have fun with it and don't carry the same level of intense scrutiny and pressure. This doesn't mean the men don't work hard or feel any pressure at all. It's just a different kind of environment where the culture allows for a bit more breathing room and enjoyment. Richard's observations really highlight how these cultural differences impact the athletes. For the men, the sport is a major part of their lives, but it's not their whole life. They have room to celebrate their achievements and even their failures in a more relaxed way. This can make a huge difference in their mental well-being and overall enjoyment of the sport. 
In contrast, the women are often in a pressure cooker, where every mistake feels like the end of the world. This intensity can lead to incredible performances, but it can also be incredibly tough on the athletes. Listening to Richard talk about these differences makes you appreciate the unique challenges each group faces. It's clear that the culture in women's gymnastics creates a set of pressures that are unlike anything else, and that makes the achievements of athletes like Simone Biles even more remarkable. They're not just competing against their peers, they're battling an immense amount of pressure and expectation. Meanwhile, the men, while still under pressure, have managed to cultivate a culture that's a bit more forgiving and fun. You get lost in the air during yeah. your vault and everyone was shocked. But I'm curious, like, take me to the moment, literally when you land on the mat, what is going through your mind? After the 2021 Olympics, where she faced the twisties and had to pull out of several events, a lot of people wondered if she would ever be the same. Remember, the twisties are like the yips in golf. Gymnasts lose their sense of where they are in the air, and it's incredibly dangerous. For Biles to come back from that, it was going to take something extraordinary. Fast forward to 2023, and Biles not only returned to the sport, but she did it in a way that blew everyone away. At the World Championships that year, she wasn't just participating to see if she could still compete. She went out there and dominated, winning four gold medals. Imagine coming back after such a tough setback and not just performing well, but completely owning the competition. It's like she never left, or even better, like she came back stronger. The significance of her dominance can't be overstated. When Biles was struggling in 2021, critics were quick to pounce. They questioned her mental toughness and even her commitment to the sport. But her performance in 2023 silenced all of that noise. It was a statement, not just to her critics, but to the entire gymnastics world. She showed that not only could she overcome her struggles, but she could also reach new heights. And my mind to do these tricks. So we're trying to um, do some different things in the back and I'm like, okay, I can't do a full and off beam. Can I please go back to my double double, which is way harder. But I know if I twist more, it's better for me. What's really impressive is how her comeback has redefined resilience and determination in sports. It's one thing to be an underdog and rise to the top, but to already be at the pinnacle of your sport, face a massive setback, and then come back even stronger? That's a whole different level. It's no wonder Fred Richard and so many others find her story so inspiring. Biles has shown that setbacks don't define you. It's how you respond to them that matters. Watching her perform at the World Championships was like watching a master at work. Every routine was executed with such precision and confidence. You could see the fire in her eyes, and it was clear she was on a mission to prove something, not just to the world, but to herself. And she did it with grace and poise that reminded everyone why she is considered the greatest gymnast of all time. You can tell he's genuinely inspired by her. When he talks about her, there's this mix of admiration and awe that's hard to miss. Richard believes Biles has set a new standard for what excellence and resilience look like in gymnastics. Her comeback after the 2021 Olympics wasn't just a personal victory, it sent ripples through the entire sport. Huge. For both men and women in gymnastics, Biles' return has been a game changer. Richard reflects on how watching her dominate at the 2023 World Championships was like a masterclass in perseverance. It's not just that she's performing well, she's doing it with a level of mastery that seems almost superhuman. This has raised the bar for everyone. Gymnasts now see that it's possible to come back from major setbacks and still be the best. Biles has shown that resilience isn't just about bouncing back, but about coming back even stronger. Simone Biles' journey is as much about family support as it is about her individual talent and perseverance. Her mother, Nellie Biles, has been a constant presence and source of strength throughout Simone's career. Nellie's insights into her daughter's journey offer a heartfelt glimpse into the emotional side of Simone's success. She's not just a legendary gymnast to Nellie, she's a young woman navigating immense pressures and challenges. Nellie Biles often talks about how nerve-wracking it is to watch Simone compete, 
She describes every routine as a nail-biting experience, praying for her daughter's safety and success. The emotional aspect of watching Simone perform is intense. Nellie's reactions, which often go viral, show just how deeply invested she is in her daughter's well-being. It's a powerful reminder of the personal sacrifices and emotional highs and lows that come with being the parent of an elite athlete. When Simone experienced the twisties at the Tokyo Olympics, it was devastating for Nellie to watch from afar due to COVID-19 restrictions. Nellie recalls how tough it was, feeling helpless and worried for Simone's safety. She advised Simone not to push herself too hard, emphasizing that her health and well-being were far more important than any medal. This unwavering support and understanding played a crucial role in Simone's decision to step back, prioritize her mental health, and eventually make a triumphant return. As Simone gears up for the Paris Olympics, Nellie plans to be right there, cheering her on. She knows how crucial her presence and support are for Simone. Nellie emphasizes that her main role is to be there for her daughter, ensuring she knows that her family is behind her 100%. The emotional significance of being present in Paris is profound. It's not just about watching Simone compete, it's about being a part of her journey. Sharing in the emotional highs and lows and offering the unwavering support that has been a cornerstone of Simone's incredible career. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.